Missing out on basketball news is already tough. So go ahead and tap that bell icon and let it ring for the latest in basketball you. This is 5 on 5 Fast Break News on Basketball You. The draft arrived and the picks were definitely in. Anthony Edwards from the University of Georgia gets drafted to the Minnesota Timberwolves. James Wiseman from the University of Memphis gets drafted to Golden State Warriors. And LaMelo Ball from Illawarra gets drafted to the Charlotte Hornets. And to our surprise, there has been no Blue Bloods in the lottery since the year 2000. Those familiar faces you are used to hearing on ESPN Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays were not called for the first 14 picks in the 2020 draft. This is the first time since 2000 since it has happened. Do you blame the pandemic and the ability not to have conference tournaments or let March Madness Magic elevate a superstar for the month of close games and madness? Just about every school that could reasonably be considered a blue blood, you could even throw in Villanova, Syracuse, Louisville, and Gonzaga. They did not have a player taken in the lottery this year. Do you rate this year's draft on a weaker scale because the Blue Bloods didn't have a powerful enough name to creep into the lottery? Or is it truly about the ability of those who got picked now that players are being evaluated on talent instead of media hype? Someone who took a risk which people were very skeptical about was LaMelo Ball, who was potentially considered to be number one, but end up getting picked third. Greg Marshall is the winningest coach in YSU history, but took his biggest L recently. He stepped down because of many reports about detrimental conduct to staff and players. Wichita State University had eight transfers go to the transfer portal, including a walk-on. Gino is looking to have another team that will run the women's game for a four-year span. With COVID allowing a year of development and for players to return, it will be a scary sight to see Paige Bukers and Azzy in the backcourt. It's almost like putting Tarasi and Maya Moore back on the team together. An amazing one-two combo. Before we continue, we have a trivia question for you. What year did they put a stop to high school players being eligible for the NBA draft? Is it A, 2005, B, 2008, C, 2006, D, 2007? The correct answer, 2005. The practice of drafting high school players has been prohibited by the new collective bargaining agreement, which requires that players who enter the draft be at least 19 years of age and at least one year removed from high school. This resulted in players such as Brandon Jennings and Emmanuel Moutier to play overseas. It was also mentioned that some players didn't even get a one year in college and decided to wait the whole year through. Even some went to the G League, like five-star recruit Jalen Green. No, say it ain't so. In recent years, we have been seeing more and more Achilles injuries, and this one is devastating, as Clay was returning from an ACL injury he suffered last season. Sources think that the injury came from compensating on his stronger leg more, which can have some different effects when not managing time on the floor properly. Tough blow for the Warriors. This might officially put the dynasty to rest. The future still looks bright for their new draft pick. His development should be interesting, playing in the up-tempo style with his abilities. Free agency isn't the only thing offseason that's making everybody go crazy. It's the trades. Some big trade moves had happened, and it makes the NBA that much more fun to watch. The undefeated bubble team, the Phoenix Suns, made a big play in getting veteran guard Chris Paul, who brings a wealth of experience and winning mindset. Will the somewhat young Suns keep that same energy that they had in the bubble and be able to take that old school mentality type leadership? 
the next season begins in December, and we can't wait to find out. Philadelphia gets rid of a savvy veteran. Al Horford got traded for Danny Green, which is crazy because the Lakers, uh, well, we will tell you that in just a bit. Bucks made some plays, but one of their chess moves got rejected. The trade for Drew Holiday was a successful one, but the Bogdan Bogdanovic trade did not go through as he didn't want to make the move. Lakers made a sneaky move by pulling guard Dennis Schroeder from OKC and moving Danny Green out. This gives them a nice backup point guard with a consistent resume of production. And the two-time champion ends up in Philadelphia. Big rumors about James Harden going to the Brooklyn Nets, which makes the league real interesting in the Eastern Conference. That does it for the first edition of 5 on 5 Fast Break News. We will continue to keep you up to date on everything basketball and cover all areas so you know what's going on on all levels. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment to get a shout out. And remember, someone's always working. Are you? you, you, you.